welcome back to our YouTube channel, Sis to Sis. Yes. It's your girl, Stephanie. And I'm Elizabeth. So today, uh, we are starting a new segment on nursing, okay? Nursing is such a huge profession nowadays, and we've been nurses for years. So I think we're going to do different videos about specifics within nursing because there's so much to talk about. So today is going to be like a general introduction to nursing. Um, so let's just get to it then. So I'll start with me. We'll start talking about how we got into nursing. Yes. Okay. So our parents moved us from Fort Lauderdale, hot city, hot girl city. Yes. To Port Charlotte, Florida. In 2006. Okay. Because they thought that it was getting too like ratchet down here. Yes. So they For wanted... a better life. So when we moved to Port Charlotte, um, we were pretty much honor students. I was. You were honor student? Yes, I was. No, how did I complete my courses ahead of time? I completed my yeah my senior courses were completed by 11th grade and which yes which led to why for 12th grade we could have either um <laughs> we could graduate early or take advanced placement courses college courses oh yes that's what happened so the, the same cool thing, thing about you. our high school was it just so happened to be that they had like an affiliation with the vocational school that was directly next to it so students had the opportunity if um, they wanted to be dual enrolled, they yes. can take high school courses and courses towards different professions, but LPN was the one that we, the route we took. Yes. So we both completed our LPN, our practical nursing program, degree, whatever, um, during dual enrolled. Last, yes. So during so, our last year in high school, yeah. we went to the Voltec and did most of our LPN courses. Yeah. So we graduated with both our regular um our high school, high school diploma, diploma and our lpn yes both yes well except for me so why didn't you what happened <laughs> so my um that thing was hard it was very hard okay let's talk about my mom made me take the lpn course to start with so i was with all adults in the um in the lpn program program yeah. and it was and, her, our first time ever even learning about nursing like yeah so my um last semester i failed out of the lpn course and so i had to complete it after high school okay. but smarty pants here did it all one go and that's part like that's primarily because i kind of saw where you went wrong like i saw all the stuff you know it was kind of like an easy route for me because my sister did it I knew what to expect, yeah. and our mom kind of didn't give us a choice. Nope. One thing about our mom, and she said, no matter what, you will not be CNAs. That was her biggest thing because she, she was, was a, a CNA. CNA. So she always wanted us to be nurses. So yes. that's really the, how we got into nursing. Yeah, and from LPN, we went on afterwards and got our RN license, got our BSN. Now this one's in the MSN. I started MSN. I don't want it no more, so I'm still... <laughs> well, we don't know. I might change my mind later, but You're right fine. now, I'm good with the BSN. So, I graduated um, as an LPN in 2011. Then in 2014, I became an RN, and I started the, M the MS MSN. The MSN program yes. a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, I graduate next year. Yes! I can't wait! So, I started my nursing career as an LPN in 2009 and then 2012 around that time I received my RN and then um maybe two years ago I got my BSN and then went on to try my MSN didn't do it you ain't even tried I kind of tried you know I really did put my best foot forward so we really have been in nursing for 10 years or so like nine years for me and probably like 10 11 years. 10 11 years for me yeah so, so we might look young, mm. but we ain't inexperienced. We heavy though. Heavy. Yes, heavy, oh, no. heavy in the game. <laughs> oh. So, um, the thing that made us choose nursing, we have questions here, and it's like, why nursing? Well, it was basically like a a set career. It made us, I don't know. I felt comfortable at least knowing that, like, no matter what happened, they will need nurses. 
Yeah, so for me, I didn't get into it because of passion. Nothing like that. At first. Yeah. So um, I wanted to be a pediatrician. That was my goal back then. And then I realized how much schooling it was. I was like, there's no way I could finish this schooling. So Which let me just, you really could have. Really you would have been done. And you would have been great. But now that I see the roles of doctors and how they act, and I don't think I ever want to be a doctor. Yeah. Okay. And that's for another segment. But, yeah. And then also. So we'll talk about truth about the schooling. Schooling. The prereqs. Yes. A lot of people always ask me, um, if you had the choice, would you just do LPN or RN? I tell everybody, R Go N. for the RN, yes. The only reason why we did LPN is because it was free. And it and was they offered it in high school. In high school. Yes. So the reason why is because LPNs are getting phased out. They've been saying that forever. But forever. We're still using LPNs. Though. Right. And they're very valuable, but they're limited to where they can work. They tend to work in long-term care settings. Mm -hmm. And then, health. Yeah. Yeah. But the RN, you're basically, you can, you have your choice of different, um, like different avenues you can go with it. And yeah. that's what I like about the RN. Yeah. Plus there's always room for growth in the RN. Yeah. Definitely. Like management, teaching, everything. Yes. So, um, the truth about schooling. So, hmm. Okay. Most nursing programs are two years. And this is just for the. <coughs> it's not Corona. She I just choked up. <laughs> Most of them are two years, some maybe two and a half. If you're in an accelerated program, it might be, be one and a half years. Mm -hmm. But that's just for the program itself. A lot of schools don't let you know that your prerequisite courses, in order to get into the program, take forever. Yeah. And they're difficult courses, like their biology, their anatomy and physiology. One. Microbiology. <laughs> that was my worst. I could not. No, A and P, anatomy and physiology, was very no. hard. It's a lot to study, but it, it was more fun because you actually have the physical body to look at and yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, but those prerequisites, you can kind of do them in your own time. Yeah. So if you want to go hard... You want to um, complete them all in like a year. You cram pack it. You you um, go to school during summertime. It's very hard. Like you have no life. Yeah. But you can't get it done because the programs are usually like every two years. I don't know. Every year or so they offer a new program. A new program. Yeah. And it also depends what school you go to. Yeah. Because some of them it's every year they offer one. Some every six months they have a new program starting up. So. And then depending if you go to a private school. Yes. Versus a public, a public school, school. Yeah. there's different waiting times too. Private schools, there's usually minimum no. to no wait list mm -hmm. because you're paying double the price of public schools. Yes. But public schools, there's 10 times more competition. Mm -hmm. So you, your grades got to be top notch. Yeah, in order to even get in. Right. Yes. And then um, both usually have like entrance exams and exams that you have to take to just show that you know your basic math, English etc skills yes so these are the things they don't tell you so yes the programs take two years to complete just the program yes but, but the prerequisites can take a year a year and a half two years to finish so in total thing. you take it a long time to finish that yeah that three four degree. years yes yeah and that's associates okay that's yeah. your bachelor's will take four years or a little bit more so yeah yeah and full yeah so and then clinical during, life oh <laughs> With clinicals, um, yeah, you're up early, you're um, at the hospital or wherever you're assigned to go to, and it's it's basically your job. For free. But the whole nursing is basically your job. Yeah, yeah. you're doing everything, the basically everything the nurses are supposed to be doing, and you're doing it for them. Right. And um, you have no life with clinicals. Right. You. <laughs> no, seriously. No life. No life, and it's very tough because... Um, at clinicals, you feel like you learn so much and you want to put it into practice, but you don't always have that opportunity. You end up feeling like you're doing like CNA work, like baby work. You're yeah. cleaning people all day. You're feeding people meals. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're giving medications. You're not doing full treatments. You're not yeah. really doing what you think you would be doing. Yeah. The real, I think the real lesson or the real nursing comes in when you get a job. Period. Yeah. That's when you learn experience, everything. Experience, experience, yes. And do not expect what you read in the books to be what 
you do in real life. It's yeah. two completely, completely different, different things. World. And that's going to be another segment about reality versus expectation of nurses. Yeah. What, what really we're goes told there. and what we're really doing. What we really do. Okay. So um, what specialty are you in now? I'm now in the ER. I've been in the ER for four years. This month makes it four years. Ooh. So it's so crazy because as a um, LPN, I did memory care, you know, mm -hmm. all the psych patients. All the confused patients. I did nursing home rehab facilities, um, and then as an RN, I've only worked in the hospital. In the hospital. So I first for me. Yeah, I yeah, first I did med surge, and then I went to the ER, and I love the ER for the experience. Yeah, I started off at a um, memory stroke unit, tele, and then I went to what's I, tele? Oh, telemetry. 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 <laughs> Elementary. Oh, I need to go back to elementary. <laughs> telemetry, same thing. Telemetry, oh, yeah. tomato, tomatoes. Ooh. So, yeah, I started off as telly, and then I went to um, cardiovascular telly. It was like a CHF floor, and then I What's transferred. CHF? Tell people, please. Not everybody's in nursing. Yeah, they're but, aspiring to be. Yeah, but they're um, CHF. You trying to fuck me up? You trying to mess me up? No, what's CHF? Anyways, a CHF unit. <laughs> Pepe, you don't remember what CHF stands for? Yo, I haven't been in the adult world for so long. Congestive heart failure unit. Oh my god, I was gonna say cardio something. Yeah, that's how long I haven't been in the adult world. So what are you now, doing currently? Now I'm in the NICU working with the babies. Oh my god! I think I kind of found my love. Like I love babies. Yeah. You've complained much less um, about the babies than you used to complain about the adults. That's, that's very nice. true. So that's just like a general consensus about nursing, how to get into it. Um, the number one tip I would give people who ask me, should I get into nursing? If you plan on coming into it just for the money, don't do it. No, it ain't worth it. It's not. People think nurses just got moolah, 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 especially as a graduate nurse. You don't make no money. And in Florida. Yeah, oh, that's another one. The state you work in says a lot. Yeah. Like, so do not get into nursing for money. for money. No. Like, you have to have something in you that wants to serve others. You yes. have to. I agree. Because I'm telling you, at some point, you're going to say. Please disregard this part. She is having a mental breakdown. A lot of people I've seen leave nursing as soon as they stepped in after all that schooling because they cannot handle the pressure. Yeah. It, it, unless you have a, like the heart for caring for people. Right. Because they will treat you like. <laughs> all right, guys. This concludes this segment about nursing, you know. Like, comment, and subscribe down yes. below. Yes, and if you have any questions about nursing or anything you would like us to cover, please let us know because we, we are willing to share. We're your girls. <laughs> your girls. <laughs> Be at home. All right, bye.